Canva Video Editor is a new 100% free and very powerful video editor software. In today's Canva Video Editor tutorial, I will show you step by step how to use Canva Video Editor to create amazing looking videos. Canva Video Editor is extremely simple to use even for non-techie people. Hey guys, Greg here and today I will show you all of my favorite techniques and shortcuts to edit your videos in Canva. And I will also show you how to make your videos look professional using the different effects, transitions and graphics that are built into Canva. Let's get right into it. Here we are in the homepage of Canva. Canva has a free plan so it's 100% free to get your canva.com account and in this video I'm going to be using a free version. To create your video project, select the video option over here and then you will see that there are various video templates that you can use for your video. So there is YouTube video, video collage, video ad, etc., with different dimensions. There are even some social media videos such as Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok videos, etc. For the purposes of this video, we're going to be focusing on 1920 by 1080 dimensions. So we're gonna use this YouTube video template. When you start a new project, you will see an interface like this. First of all, let's take a look at what you can see on the left-hand side. So on the left-hand side, you can see the different templates. So these are pre-made templates that you can just uh, use everything is editable inside Canva so if you want to get a quick start on any of your projects you can use any of these templates on the left hand side the other things that are here on the left hand side are various other elements and graphics that you can use so you can just pretty much search for anything using the search box and drag and drop them into the project we will look more into that as we go through the project and the process uh, so you can navigate through all of those elements on the left hand side. Now next let's take a look at this bottom bit. So the bottom is your timeline and each of these windows is going to be uh, a different section of your video. So for example if your video consists of a few different elements uh, this one for example you can see is a five second duration then you can create a next section of your video and the next section of your video and each of them you can drag and drop from this section on the left hand side into the bottom and create a video this way so you can see for example there are, here are the different uh, videos so you could take this rl shot and drop that over here so this will become your first section of the video then you could take this nature shot drop it into the second and you can do this with your own videos as well we're going to look more into it but this is how you structure videos so essentially these are the different sections of your video for now let's just delete all of these so i can click on this and then click delete on my keyboard and i can delete all of these sections one by one next let's look into how to get your footage into canvas so as i showed you already there are some default elements within Canva that you can use so it already contains some footage that you can use in your video but of course if you want to edit your own video you will need to go into the upload section and then under videos you can upload your media so just click this button and then you will be able to select the videos to upload as the example for this video let's upload a video that I have prepared here so there was a video that I've made about barcodes in Excel so let's take that and we can click open and this will add the video into your uploaded videos within Canva. Now that it's uploaded, you can drag and drop it into the timeline. All right, so now the video is ready for us to edit. You can see at the bottom, the summary, it's five minutes and 23 seconds long. You can drag this cursor over here to different positions within the video and you can see exactly where you are in the video. So right now we're at 30.2 seconds in the video. You can use this zoom control at the bottom to adjust the size of the preview of your editing area. So if you want it to be a little bit smaller or a little bit larger, you can do that. This is just for you to be able to see the preview of what you're doing on the screen. And if you click this button here, you can actually then zoom the timeline. So for example, if you wanted to see the whole five minutes on your screen, you can do that by adjusting this. If you want to zoom in, and make this very, very sensitive. So you want to move in small increments, you can just zoom all the way right in using this sliding toolbar. At any time, if you wanted to preview your video, you can just put the cursor anywhere within the video and click the play button, and then you will see that the video starts playing so you can preview exactly what is happening at that point in time. Then you can click pause to pause it. If you wanted to add another bit of footage after this bit of footage, then you could go again into your videos, upload another video, and then just drag and drop it and put that video, sort of drop that video just after, and then you can continue doing this 
to build out your video the way that you want it to be. Let's now delete these newly inserted bits and now let's look into what kind of edit functions you can have within each of these clips. I'm going to show you how to split, how to trim and how to rearrange these parts of the footage. Let's say you wanted to split your footage just before this purple part at the top comes up. So you'd want to put your cursor just before this purple text appears and then zoom in as much as you can. So let's just go and zoom in a little bit more into uh, that part of the footage. And then you can kind of see the preview at the bottom. This is where it appears. Okay, so we're just going to position our cursor just before this purple text appears. And now I can right click over here and click the split option or I can just use the S shortcut on the keyboard as well. And this has now split our footage into two. What you can now do with this is you can rearrange them. So right now we've got the short bit first and then a the long bit at the end. If you want to rearrange them, I can just take this one and I can drop it and now we've got them the other way around. So it's very easy to swap the pieces of your footage like that. Next, let's look at how to trim your clips. So let's say I wanted my clip, this clip to end right here and I don't need all of this bit. What I can do is once I've positioned my cursor where I want it to end, I can just grab this bit and I can drag and drop it right where I want it to be. So let's say if I wanted to add over here, I can just easily do that. And again, I can also do it with the start. So I can trim off as much as I want to just by simply clicking and dragging. And if you want to delete a piece of footage that you don't need, then you can just zoom into it and find where that piece of footage is that you don't want. And the easiest way to do this is to just split it. Let's say if I don't want the piece of footage that's from here to here, I can just split it right here and then split it right here by using the S shortcut. So that's split off as well. And then select this piece that I no longer want and click delete or just click on this and click delete page. Okay, so now that piece has been cut out and we got rid of the footage that we don't want in the middle there. Next, let's look at how to add B-rolls. So to add a B-roll, Canva doesn't allow you to have layers in the bottom part of the editing screen. However, there is still a way to put in overlays. And the easiest way to do this is to just drag and drop the elements. I will show you how to do that. Let's say we found some videos. Let's say we want some videos of water and I want to put a video of water on top of what I'm speaking about right now. Let's say I want this clip of water to appear over the top of what I'm talking about between 30 and 35 seconds. In this case, I would just create a split at 30 seconds and then take this bit of water and drag that over here. Then at the top, I actually have the options to trim and to crop this clip. So I can click on this option and I can adjust the length. So if I want it to just be, let's say three seconds long, I can do that. Okay, so here it's telling me that it's now three seconds long. I can click done and this has now become a three second clip. Uh, and I can reposition it the way that I want. If I want it to just appear for three seconds and take over the whole screen, I can do that from here. So after I play at this point in time, that second clip, that kind of B-roll will appear over the top of what I'm speaking about and then it will revert back to my footage. Another thing that I can do is if I don't want this overlay to take over the whole screen, let's say I just want it to appear here in the corner, I can do that as well by uh, changing the size of it. So if I now place the cursor, you will see what happens. That footage that I've overlaid will just appear here in the top left. So you have a lot of flexibility uh, you can do this with videos, you can do this with images, edit them this way. And this way Canva allows you to create uh, multiple layers to use B-rolls and various other overlays within your videos. If both your main clip and your B-roll have got audio, you can mute the audio. For example, if you want to mute the audio within the B-roll, you can select it and then use this button over here to reduce the volume to zero of the B-roll so that the sounds don't overlap. Next, let's talk about creating titles and texts. Canva makes it very, very easy to use text overlays for that. You just need to go to the text menu on the left hand side and you can use any of these pre-made texts that Canva supplies. So let's say that somewhere around here, I want to put a helpful 
call out on the right hand side perhaps there is a section in the video or I want to notify the viewers about something uh, that is going to be in the video for that I can use any of these pre-made texts let's say I decide to use this as a template everything is fully customizable of course if I just take this free delivery and drop it you will notice that it gets assigned to this whole clip so this is not what we want we just need to create a break for this so let's just delete this text for now and if this is the area where I want the text to appear, I just need to right click there and split this clip like this. And then after that, I can apply this free delivery text over here. So I can drop it over here and let's say I make it a little bit smaller. So now again, you will see that this free delivery text got applied to this whole clip. If I only wanted to appear for let's say five seconds, I just need to find that position where I want it to disappear. So we're at 125. So I'm going to go to 131 and let's say I want the text to disappear here. I just need to split this clip once again like this. And then uh, from this part of the clip, I need to delete this free delivery. And now you will see that this free delivery only appears during this cut over here in between these two cuts. Okay, so now we're happy with this. I just, I can edit this to anything that we want. For example, I might say, see description uh, or something like see the link the link in description below then we can use any of the effects to make this text smaller so just all of the standard kind of canva effects let's say we we'll make it 36 maybe we want to make it a little bit bigger like 56 all right, like this. You can also, of course, then use any of the elements. So let's just get out from the videos and we can search for something like this rectangle here will do. Perhaps if I just want to make a little underlay to make it more visible like this. Okay, I can do that pretty easily in here as well. And perhaps we'll want to make it black to make the text stand out like this. Okay, uh, so very simple and, and easy to do it like this. So now we've got a nice overlay. Let's just play it and just check how this actually looks. All right, so now this appears and then after five seconds, it will disappear. So you can see how easy that, that was for us. One more thing to note when you go into text templates and other templates within Canva, some of them will have this crown. That means that you can only use them if you are on a paid plan with Canva but there are plenty of free templates. So the ones that don't have the crown, it means that you can use them on a free plan as well. Next, let's talk about effects. So right now this text just appears. So as we're playing the video, I will just demonstrate to you. This text just pops up. If we wanted to, for example, fly in, we can click on this text and then we can go into effects or animate. So if I go into animate and I wanted to perhaps scale or, you know, if you mouse over any of these effects, it will show you how it will come out. Um, so like this, it, it just, it's like a typewriter effect. Okay, if, if I click this, this is all you really need to do. Uh, this has already been applied. So if we just replay this again from here, you will notice that now this text is getting typed. Next, let's talk about how to create transitions. So I will just insert a page over here. And let's say I want five seconds of showing some kind of text. So perhaps I want to go into elements and then just create um, uh, an overlay with some text. So let's just say that we want to say um, something like please subscribe. So let's just say we choose please and then we put in subscribe here and we make this text. Let's say we'll make it white to stand out. Uh, and this, you can use this for anything, right? So if we do that, uh, we've just inserted this little overlay. Let's just click play. You will see what happens. It just pops up like this without any transitions. If we want to apply a transition effect, uh, then we can very easily do that just by clicking again, this plus button and then choosing transition, this option over here. And I usually choose something very simple such as dissolve or slide. So dissolve, is you know is is not too much but you can certainly use slide as well dissolve will just transition transition it like that half a second is fine and then let's apply a transition effect once again for it to fade out as well so we're going to add transition dissolve 
All right, uh, and let's just play it and you will see the effect that this has had. So now it's just got that nice smooth transition effect. You can use any of the effects, of course, it doesn't have to be just the uh, smooth transition. There were some other ones that you've probably seen, right? So you can change it to slide, you can change it to line wipe, you can change it to circle wipe. Next, let's look at adding some audio to your video file. You can do that by going to the audio section on the left hand side and Canva actually comes with some um, music that you can use. It's royalty free music. Some of it is again only for pro for paid subscribers but if you scroll down you will see that there are quite a lot that don't have any copyright and they're also free. So let's say this one I'm just going to preview this and let me just turn the volume up. If we play this you'll hear the preview. If you like this music, you can just, you don't need to do anything else. You can see that it's already been added. You can adjust the volume of it by clicking on this music here and then clicking on the audio button at the top and you can adjust the volume of the music. You can bring it down or turn it up so that uh, it doesn't overpower the rest of the video. You can also, of course, upload your own video file. So if you've got a video membership at something like Epidemic Sounds, you can just upload your own media. So upload your own audio if you go over here and then upload uh, or drag and drop any of the audio files. You can add your own files instead of the uh, music that comes inside Canva. Next, I'm going to show you how to add additional content to your video. So at any point in the video, you can add uh, some extra content. For that, all you need to do is just position the cursor there and right click and click split. This will split the video. And then you can click this plus button to add a page. Now by adding a page, this just adds extra space and into that space, you can drop any of the elements or templates from the left hand side. So if you go into templates, for example, uh, you can use any of these templates to create some space in, within your video. So for example, if you like uh, this makeup and beauty bit, you can just drop it into this section and then everything is editable. Right, so if you if we play this, you will see that this now has got this kind of transition over here and you can click on this and you can edit uh, any of this. So you can say hello from, all right, and then you can change this to caffeinated blogger. So very simple like that. You can use these templates and you can apply them to within your video. You can adjust the length of those templates and you can do this with anything. You can drag and drop any of the photos. You can drag and drop any of the text. There are also some pre-made videos, pre-made video footage that you can just like that use as well. So for example, if we want to get rid of this, you can delete it and then we will add this new page and instead we can insert some footage. So maybe we want some footage of cabbage. Okay, so uh, these are all premium footage of cabbage sections. But if you keep scrolling down, you'll find some that are free that don't have these uh, crown icon and then I can drag and drop that over here and this is now our footage of cabbage well it's not quite cabbage but maybe maybe there is cabbage in here you get the idea okay so now we, we can just use that footage like that so Canva has got a ton of these things um, that you can just search for so anything on the left hand side you can just drag and drop into your video which is really awesome once you've put together your video you can review it all so once again just a reminder that if you click this button here then this switches between zooming your uh, viewing section and zooming your timeline. So like this, you can zoom out, you can double check that everything is lined up the way you want it to be. Perhaps then you want to preview your video and make sure that everything is right. Once you're happy with everything, to download the video, you will need to go at the top to this download section and then choose your file type, whether it's MP4, most likely we'll want to use MP4, then select pages. So all nine pages will download the whole video and then click download and that way you will be able to download the mp4 video file. Well now you know how to use this powerful tool Canva to create awesome videos for free. If you guys want to now learn how to make money from your videos then make sure to watch this video over here. I will walk you through step by step how to start making money from the videos that you can create within the Canva editor. Thank you so much once again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.